The Mouse and the Lion There was once a mouse who lived in the forest. One day, he went out of his burrow to look for food. While wandering about, he found a mound of hay and started digging into it. Suddenly, the mouse heard a loud growl and he was thrown to the ground. When he looked, he saw a roaring lion. Oh, 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 I have awakened a sleeping lion, he cried. The mouse covered in terror. Forgive me, King Lion, he said. I mistook your mane for pay. Please don't harm me. I promise I shall repay you someday. The lion looked at the mouse and started to laugh. Ha ha ha! You are such a very small creature, mouse, he said. You mean nothing to me. I will never need you. Go away. The mouse ran away as fast as he could. Days passed. The mouse was again looking for food. When he saw the lion get caught in a hunter's trap, King Lion will surely be killed. When the hunter arrives, he said to himself, The mouse decided to help the lion. This was the moment he had been waiting for. He wanted to repay the lion for not harming him days ago. The mouse started to gnaw at the ropes here and there. The mouse beat the ropes into pieces. At last, the lion was free! The lion regained his composure. Then he turned to the mouse. Thank you, mouse, he said. Today I learned an important lesson from you. Despite your size, you are a great help to a big creature like me. From then on, the mouse and the lion became good friends. A lesson of the story, judge the person from his character and capabilities, not from his size. Ang daga at ang leon. Sa gubat ay may nakatirang isang munting daga. Isang araw ay lumabas siya sa kanyang lungga upang maghanap ng makain. Habang gumagala siya, ay napansin niya ang isang bunton ng mga dayami at sinimulan niyang halukayan iyon. Bigla, nakarinig ang daga ng malakas na atungal. Tumilapon siya sa lupa. Pagtingin niya ay nakita niya ang isang nagnangalit na liyon. Naku po, nagising ang natutulog na liyon. Bulalas niya. Nanginig sa takot ang daga. Patawarin mo ako, haring liyon, sabi ng daga. Napagkamalan kong dayami ang iyong buhok. Huwag mo akong sasaktan, pangako. Makakaganti rin ako ng kabutihan sa'yo balang araw. Masamang pinagmasdan ng leon ang daga at biglang tumawa. Ha 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 ha! Napakalit mong nilalang daga, sabi ng leon. Lakon silbi, kahit kailan ay hindi kita kakailanganin. Tupi! Kumaripas ng takbo palayo ang daga. Lumipas ang mga araw. Muling gumala ang daga sa gubat para maghanap ng makakain. Nakita niya ang leon na umaalagwa mula sa isang bitag. Tuyok na papatayin ang haring leon pagdating ng mga ngaso, sabi ng daga sa sarili. Nagpasya ang daga na tulungan ang leon. Heto na ang Pagkakataong hinihintay niya, gusto niyang ipakita sa leon na mayroon siyang silbi rito at kailangan siya nito. Sinimulang ngat-ngatin ng daga ang bitag. 
Uh, Pagngat-ngat ng daga ay tuluyang nawarat ang bitag. Sa wakas ay nakawala ang leon. Pagkatapos niyang may masmasan, ay binalingan ng leon ang daga. Maraming salamat, dago, sabi ng leon. Ngayong araw ay may mahalagang aral na tutuwan ko. Mula sa iyo kahit maliit ka ay may silbi ka sa isang malaking nilalang na katulad ko. Mula noon ay naging magkaibigan ang daga at ang leon. Aral ng kwento, husgahan ang isang tao ayon sa kanyang pagkatao at kakayahan, hindi sa kanyang laki.